Tonight, it's the National Football League. Super Bowl 57. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on Josh Allen and the New England Patriots. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage to the National Football League on EA Sports. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here as it'll be the AFC champion New England Patriots taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon going alongside Charles Davis and Charles the Patriots. We know the sequence of events. Tom Brady leaves for Tampa. He wins Super Bowl 55. And the Patriots are kind of middle of the pack for two years. But they turn right around, win the AFC title, and now making their record 12th appearance in a Super Bowl. And I certainly like how you set everything up there, partner, because it certainly felt from the outside that this run of titles was over for this team, that they were going to fall into rebuilding mode. But how about this group? They still believed in themselves, and they made it back to the big game. Meanwhile, it took until Super Bowl 52 for the Eagles to lift the Lombardi Trophy for the first time. And not too many players are left from that squad five years ago. But this new group is looking to write a new chapter of Eagles lore. Yeah, we certainly all remember that performance in the win over New England. Nick Foles throwing for 373 yards. Catching the Philly special that will go down as one of the most iconic play calls in Super Bowl history. Now they're back and looking to make it two titles in six years. The hype and the talk is over. We're set for the big one. Super Bowl 57. Away we go from Arizona. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. It didn't take long to see our first penalty of the game, did it? We always talk about everyone wanting to get into the game in a hurry. The officials did as well. Give to Elliott. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. 12 yards on the game. A great start for this offense. The Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. And you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitch? Falls of being a first. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. I throw, but he makes the catch. And past the 35 before he's taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't, because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They go to Elliott again. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. 
And he has another first down. It's a beautiful ball down to the Eagles' 44-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now Allen. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he has another first down. So get the ball down to the Eagles 28. They'll run for the first time with Pierre Strong. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Evans here. And they've got an in. Catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Now Elliott, and he's in. Touchdown! Ezekiel Elliott, an eight-yard touchdown run, and the Patriots are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. And that. Opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal. They've got to like the way that they started this ball game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Off the field, discouraged. They're shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want. And other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. The vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain, so he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Hold on here because on that last. Run. It looks like we have a player who's shaken up. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19 yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Another run with Sanders. And he'll get him inside the 15 down for the 14 yard line. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. Hey, when you get good yards like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's, he's making sure he's a little bit, bit extra. to a first and goal. It's a big up of eight. They'll run with Sanders. And they'll be driven back here. Ten yardage to the nine. It's going to go to a loss of four. And it'll be second down. So it feels 
strings even more when the table that he's easily brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they run able to secure the box, and that might be able to go backwards. Once again with Sanders. And a nice pick up here to get to the four-yard line. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here. Brings up What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. And that's going to be caught. Grant Calcaterra from four yards out. And the Eagles are an extra point away from taking the lead in this Super Bowl. Elliott good with a PAT. And they take the lead here at 7-6. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback. And they'll begin 25. And now out come the Patriots. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. To the air, Allen. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's taken down, able to slip across the 30. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. He's one who did some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And this will be good for a pickup of nine, six. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. On second down, Elliott once more. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Elliott complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. Nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps him advancing the ball. From the 35 on second down, Allen. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. Before he crosses over out of bounds. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And now a jet sweep. This is Evans with it. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that. And he is in. Touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots have retaken the lead. But finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL. A complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. He gets it done. They're going to try and run. And he will find the end zone here. And the lead moves up to seven. Full 
now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And the drive will begin at the 25. Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Throwing his hurts. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Christian Barmore getting in there to drop him. This is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might pop through one over his head as this game progresses. your receiver the ball coming across the formation nice design but well played defensively and they stop it well short on his Kern the punter to send this one away and a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully New England trying to get to place on offense and the football changing hands here and as this offense takes the field Charles they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive last time out they found the end zone for six I'm certainly hoping for more of the same but the game plan I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense will break up some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook they want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next and defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play... Yeah, is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles will take over here at their own 12-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to spring together a nice drive and help themselves. Three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. 14-7 is the score. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll drop the throw. He's going to drop this down to Sanders, and he's going to come up well shot first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Oh, the return is Jones. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. Tenth carry now for Allen. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. And he's going to be taken down about the 33. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time, but nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. A first down carry by Allian. And not much running room. Down to the 32. 
Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. A one yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Back again next time. That one goes for 24 yards. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one. It's tight end, Kelsey. Patriots touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Pats continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. They're a PA from going up 20. Seven. Yeah, very impressive the way that they moved the football. Full command of their playbook, full command of the way they wanted to attack. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. This time, the extra point, up and good. And it's now 21-7. to seven. Five plays there on that drive. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This one fielded at the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. to begin their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Hurt sets up to throw it. Dancing to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Max Crosby, his second sack of the night. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game. That puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls. But only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he takes this beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Now left side on the swing pass. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Give him five of the carry there, and it'll be second down. Goddard, the tight end. And the tackle at the 38. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 
59 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Setting up the screen with Gainwell. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. On second down, here's the option. And he will lose yardage and be back up to the 24. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. Here's Hurts to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Max Crosby in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. And that's his third sack, and that ties a Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ely. Three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood actually had four way back in Super Bowl 10. Wearing those golden high tops as well. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down quickly. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. A lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense is ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. Throwing is Allen on third. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Starting to rack up the yardage here in this first half. Five catches now and a first down. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. The secondary has been roasted in this first half. That's your revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back. But that's one step in the proper direction. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back. And you caught. It's the tight end, Kelsey. Kelsey, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots are feeling good as they extend their lead in this Super Bowl. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yes, yeah, multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So the drive there took six plays, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Full now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Had to begin their next drive. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out Charles. And they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive. 
as you noted. So you know the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure in a sense at the field goal unit. And then you see the ball go through the post. offense set to begin their next drive. Last time out, they had the fumble that led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball. The defense gave up the points too, Charles, but they've got to take care of the football possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, but both of those units kind of put their defense in baseball. Really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground, but an easy way to make it up to them. Get out there now and get some points on this drive. This will be caught by Brown. A gain of six on the play. Third and seven now. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you need your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. It's a hard to defend. And that is too far out in front of his intended target. Incomplete. Here's Brett Kern now to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is single four and take it. 41 yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Four catches already here in this Super Bowl. He's got another first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. There's no pressure. He's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? Lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out and ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Allen throw here complete to Kelsey. And they're going to be set up on the ball at the 13 yard line. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Allen going to throw. Super Bowl and the Patriots are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. 
I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like you fit that in the book. Yeah. You know, I just grab another one when I can. Full connects on the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Finding space at the 40. And they worked it well up field across the 45. Now they get to the line quickly. But first down, Hurts. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 40 again on second down. Hurts flushed out right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no pressure coming at their quarterback. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17 yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return and the Patriots take over. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Five yards tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now Allen. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On play action, Allen. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Thus far, this Super Bowl has looked less like a contest and more like a coronation. And to call the second half, let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And the drive will begin at 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But there's ever a chance to regroup. It's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and truly 
adjustments. They played great all year long. That was the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he flips up past the 45 before being tackled. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. They'll set up a throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Second down at five. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. first he'll have to go backwards for another second down try so if there is a silver lining though it stays second down and they still have an opportunity to pick up a first down before they have to start their downs over again a running play on first down and it turns into a fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage as usual the hallmark of a good run defense linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage absolutely nowhere to run there second down here's Jalen Hurts he finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. On the right hash, officially, this will be a 51-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. surprised by that that they kicked the field goal I guess you get some points but this deficit third quarter I don't know yeah I don't either yeah, I'm with you on that one when you're down that much kicking a field goal does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white flag I just, just want to stay out of here yeah I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board here comes the Patriots offensive unit they'll have it first here to begin the third quarter and the first half definitely went their way and this would seem to be a opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Another carry tonight for the workhorse alley this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw. Now he's going to get this way down inside the 35. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down in a 21-yard gain. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair. Because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you get in his ability plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run. He's down into the red zone at the 16 after a game. First and ten. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They let these receivers run wild for good yardage.
So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now the ball comes loose. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are facing scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover. Second and short now following the fumble. To throw, it's Allen. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And the Patriots are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag. Now he's over the zone for a Patriot Bowl. Ezekiel Elliott with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Patriots just continue to roll. So another rushing touchdown for him this year. Boy, he's found the end zone quite a bit so far. Charles, that now an even 20 scores on the season. And you know how often we use the term, probably I use the term imposing their will. Well, these defenses have become really powerless to stop him. That's what we've seen from him and his team this year. You know he's getting the ball down here in the red zone, but he's just got that strength of will himself, and he's used it to great effect. Both now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And the drive again at the 25 is Scott. Set to begin their next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 85 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Quick hitter here is complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. They run with Sanders off the option. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Austin Scott, his first carry. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, you also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. They'll set up to throw. Short throw caught by Goddard, and he'll 
will be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. So Hurts is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the ranch, this from 45 yards away. The kick by Elliott is good, and they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Taken at the goal line. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. gains our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout the game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home, <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there. Boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. <laughs> that's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion. Second down. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. I don't think we'll ever get enough of watching one-handed catches, and when they pay off, they are spectacular. But how about the times they don't pay off and coaches go, two hands, two hands still works. <laughs> I know they, they go for them so often now that I'm almost starting to take them for granted. Yeah, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Because these are sensational type plays. Especially that one with the defender right there. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. <laughs> Here's Allen. To Evans on the slam. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the 5 to the 3. A pick up a 4 on first down. It'll be second and goal. Play action. Now it's Allen. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's excellent there. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. They give it off here to the tight end. And he'll take it into the end zone for Gesicki, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots have taken a six-touchdown lead. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happening. So that drive in total eight plays, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PA, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that. 
that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down the kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here comes Sanders on the toss right. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it will set him back for second down. you got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Hurts' throw brought in by Brown. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. So the completion good for six yards. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Here's Brett Kern now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And we shift the spotlighting Mike Evans. He's having a day here in quarter number three. Over 100 yards, couple touchdowns. Every receiver's hope for when they head into that game in the National Football League. And his team is loving what he's giving them. Of course, the yardage is terrific, but I think it's what you mentioned, the two touchdowns. That's the big one because he's paying off his results downfield. And still more time here. Third quarter, we'll see what else he has in store for us. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Just one more quarter remains in a season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here at Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Inside give to Elliott. And some room to work. And they get him down. He takes it across the 40-yard line. 138 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive. But sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure a tackle. Got to break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose. And just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. There for New England. 49 yards. Even with a big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. for a Patriots touchdown. Travis Kelsey with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. Extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. The drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. And that NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 
13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. He'll look to throw. Take it in by Pascal out left. Gain of six, and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That makes the extra play harder to move it. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Back to throw again. Sanders has got it complete. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. And he'll back up a few steps as he'll make the catch at about the eight-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the pass will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and ten. They start on the ground with Elliott. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. Allen off the play fake. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Up the middle, here's Elliott. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Here's Allen to throw it. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And they're going to get this beyond the 40. He's taken down. His game continues. Ten catches now. And another first down. <laughs> Throwing now is Allen. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he Inside the 40-yard line. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this game a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Allen now looks to throw. On the right side open is Kosicki. And he will have a Patriots first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now Allen. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. That's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, 
the really wide receivers who are just taller and have a bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. Again to Elliott. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a five-yard game. They'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he's able to pick up the first before he's down inside the five at the four. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. And now they'll throw with Allen. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. The Charles are still airing it out at this point despite that huge lead. And some people may be saying, well, why are they throwing the football? These guys, I guess, are just padding their stats at this point. Yeah, there are a lot of big grins, I think, for people in their families. And he is in. Touchdown. it off with six points and he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now well someone's all about winning aren't they because he's not worried about the number sure, it's great to have two touchdowns but the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead he wants to continue to do so full connects on the extra point and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead Polk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and ten. Now this one complete on the slant route. And they get him down and up. He takes it across the 40-yard line. And excellent start the drive there, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. That's into the hands of Pascal. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And just a yard to go here on second down. Throwing his hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And he'll be brought down the other side of midfield at the 43. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Here's Hurts to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. And this one will not. It is incomplete. It would have been a long 
field goal. The fake doesn't work out. And the Patriots defense is going to take over on downs. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. And this is incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit, but as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. They'll try to run for it with Elliott. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. They're able to convert with a gain of four. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. It's complete left side to Aguilar. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And it's another Super Bowl title for the New England Patriots. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports